Hi, my name's John. Welcome to one of that Sunday night nightcap. No, I haven't been shooting, I haven't been cutting trees down. It's just cool in here. Tonight's nightcap contains a usual mixture of machining, bad language, steam engines, and something very out of the ordinary, which I'll probably be showing later on in part two. The first thing I'm going to do is the draw for the 0 to 25. I'm going to write my comment that. I don't seem to be able to give away. I've drawn this. This is the third time now. Any little hand in the bucket. Right, there's a one fell out there. That's going to be the one to use. It looks like Mark Lowry. Right, as usual, all you need to do is send me an email with an address and hopefully I'll be able to get this eventually posted off. I want to do another giveaway. This time it's going to be for another micrometer. Uh, it's quite a nice one, micrometer, metric one. If I can get the box open. It's a 50 to 75 um, made by Oxford. It's got a nice little standard with it as well and the spanner's yet to set it up. I'll get a close up shot of that. This is a 50 to 70 micrometer for this week's giveaway in really nice condition. Androids are lovely and clean. Comes complete with this little spanner and it's 50mm standard. Certainly a, a useful addition to anybody's shop in a box as well. As usual, if you want a chance of winning that, just send me an email containing your name, your full name like John Mills, not just John. That's my email address up there. Your name goes into the bucket, if it's drawn out, I'll put it off anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. Like I said, it's just a, a way of me giving a little bit back for all the help and support I've had. I mean, I've got three of these micrometers, I've just had another one given, which is better than this one, so obviously that one's going to be given away. The double boost hats and the double boost cups are well underway now. I should have something to show hopefully by next week. Um, ideally, they'll be ready for Christmas. Anyway, that's something to... Something to look forward to. I've got a bit of brass bar here and I need to put a M20 mil hole through it, threaded hole. I have got an M20 tap, so I'll probably end up just putting the tap through it. So he's obviously trying to drill a hole in the holes off centre. So we'll start off using the, the back side of it and drill it from there. That's the M20 tap, it's quite a new one so it should put the thread in a problem at all. It just appears to be ordinary brass, it's nothing special. There's already a hole through there, off centre hole. The footprint the biggest drill in on the stiff drill, short one. I've got a nice sharp 16mm drill here. Put that through first. I wonder if it didn't do that. I've got an AR32 collar chuck here. I've got it sent for a bang good. Beyond simply to use in the tail stock on the lathe so I can use collets to hold millet cutters in the legs. So I'm going to give this a try with a big millet cutter and see if I can get a hole through there any better. I haven't done a review on this yet but it, uh, it certainly looks alright. That's a number two. More tape on my tail stocks at three so I'll have to use a, an adapter sleeve. To that, goes into there like that.
I mean, I've got an 18 mil milling cutter that should hopefully go through without flexing too much. Slow things down a little bit. Bang on 18. We'll put a boring bar through there. We'll put a light cut on just to clean it up. Three, that'll do. Straight through it that. Right, we're all set up. I've got the tap held in the air, 32 chuck. I've got it running nice and slow. I'm going to try power feeding this. Uh, brass normally cuts dry. I don't think a little bit of cutting will do any harm. The hands are going to go on the clutch all the time here, just in case I've got to stop it. That's going in there quite nicely now. The lathe's working but it's not ridiculous. Seems like it's all the way through now. Certainly, even when you're the top in by hand, and there's no way an ordinary chuck would have held that, that top over and spun the chuck, without a doubt. So, that little AR32 chuck's going to be very useful. That end. Then I do more just to get that mark on it. Just 
make that lid flat as well. thing I forgot to do was just to counter sink it more slightly. handles to go in there and I'm just going to use some M12 cap heads. I'll centre drill it first then drill it to 10.5 I think it is and then put the 12mm Tighten the base. I'm going to feed the drill in using the Z axis because drills have a tendency to grab into brass unless I sharpen a different way or a slightly different way. So I've zeroed the Z axis and I can get away with 16mm of thread. So we use this to. Once again, these are Banggood carbide drills. I've got a full set of them, I've got a review here, but I haven't got round to it. As you can see, there's nothing the matter with them. Right, 16. Because I had success power tapping the lathe, I'm going to power tap this in the milling machine. Put the machine into jog mode so it just. Putting the inverter with the, the speed control and the jog buttons on made a hell of a difference to the smell machine, it really has made it a pleasure to use. Right, so we've got some nice sharp 12mm threads in there. I should have machined the flat on there so I could put it that way up and get it the opposite. I didn't, but for it. Is I can just put that in there like that and it'll sit level on that bolt head and it means that the other handle is going to be opposite that one
Any tool handles, and that's a piece of old thread bar. Just a job, I'm sure I'd be happy with that.